time, I'd like to give an update on COVID-19 for Monday, January 18th. First of all, a review of the numbers. Uh, in positive cases, we increased by 273. Uh, we now have uh, 715 active cases. That's down 297 from a week ago. We have 11,350 recovered cases. That's up 376 from a week ago. And our hospital uh, pop population has uh, gone down from 14 to 12. Unfortunately, we've had a, a lot of deaths in the last week or so. Almost 10% of the deaths that we've seen throughout this COVID uh, pandemic came in the last week, two weeks. And we had uh, 12 more deaths and a total of 108 altogether. Uh, the negative tests have grown by another hundred, uh, rather 752, up to 42,131. The trajectory of the numbers since New Year's has been steady, but with a burden rate of 610 per 100,000, the county is still at a very high ranking. The efforts of so many this time, at this time have reduced the strain on our hospital admissions, so please continue to wear a mask, wash and sanitize your hands often, and maintain social distance and avoid groups of people in your family, other, not in your family. The Wisconsin National Guard uh, testing site has averaged a little over 100 tests uh, each day last week. Uh, their testing will continue on Wednesdays and Fridays at the Sheboygan County Aging and Disability Resource Center in Sheboygan Falls. The state of Wisconsin has allocated uh, 607,000 vaccines to Sheboygan County. 373,000 have been shipped and 213,000 have been administered as of this morning to group A1 individuals, which include local hospitals and clinics. Nine nursing homes in Sheboygan have had their initial uh, clinic visit for staff and residents and account for over 600 of those vaccinations. It's anticipated uh, start date for assisted living facilities is January 25th. Public health is waiting for a definition of the 1B participants and the timeline for the rollout of the next phase of vaccinations from the state of Wisconsin.